ZBrush has something they like to call IMM brushes, which is short for Insert Multi Mesh. Basically, you just import a bunch of objects, you press a button, and it will convert it to an IMM brush, where you can just select whatever you want and draw it on top of a surface and just select something else and just do that a whole bunch of times. It's very convenient. I love IMM brushes. This is usually how uh, you'll find kit bash packs in ZBrush. However, in this situation, the cyber muscle pack I just made, link below, is pretty big. So trying to find the specific version of the kit bash that you want can be a little time consuming. So the first thing I want to show you on how to deal with this is the fact that you can press the M key whenever you're using an IMM and you'll get this layout instead. The advantage of this layout, as you can see, is that you get a preview. And if you don't and it looks a little weird, that just means the preview was still loading. But this will give you a better idea of exactly what you're looking for. Now, another thing we can do is simply trim the fat. So this pack is really large and there's a chance that a lot of these designs just aren't appealing to you. So what you can do is remove them from the IMM pack very easily. So just find something you don't like, draw it out. It's hideous. Go to brush. We're going to pin this to the side by clicking on that little circle and then go to this create tab. And this tab has an option called delete mesh. So if we'll delete it, you'll watch this little uh, sub tool here disappear. So just delete it. There we go. It's gone. And now we can draw out something else. Oh, I don't like this one either. Delete. So just do that with all of the brushes that you dislike. And when you're done, simply click save as to save your brush and give it a completely different name. Instead, we can call this my favorites and you're good to go. However, I think there's a better way of doing this because I included along with the IMM brushes, the Z tools. So if we just load up the curved cyber muscles, for example, you'll see that we have the entire pack laid out similarly to how we have it in Blender. So here it's a lot easier to identify which designs or which variations we're not interested in. And all we have to do is delete them. So I'm going to go to my sub tool. Maybe you might want to hotkey this delete option. So I have it set to control K, which I know is really weird, but in ZBrush, you can't undo a deletion. So I set it up to something that would be hard to press by accident. So I'm not really going to be too selective because this is just an example. So I'm just going to spam the delete key. All right, let's just say these are my favorite subtools. Or these are the ones that I like and that I find most useful. All we have to do now is recreate the IMM brush, which is very easy to do. One thing you need to be aware of when creating an IMM is how do you want it to be drawn out? Because when we press the create IMM button, if our viewport or our camera, whatever we can call it, <laughs> ZBrush, if it's like this, every time we draw out the brush, it's gonna come out sideways. So orient, your camera the way you want it to be drawn out. In my case, it's gonna be this way, so I'm gonna hold down Shift to snap. And it doesn't matter if you're zoomed out or if, if it's like over here. I'm pretty sure the only thing that matters in this case is the orientation of the camera. So just do that. And now create Instant Multi Mesh. And as you can see, this brush pack is a lot smaller. However, we do have this little object here we don't want, which is uh, where I name the Z tool. So just select it, delete it, save as and as we've already seen you can name it whatever you want my favorite cyber muscles and this is a lot easier to manage so this time i actually loaded the straight versions of the cyber muscles imm as you can see they have no curvature whatsoever that's because i want to demonstrate one more thing which i'm sure you already know but if you press w in zbrush you'll get this little gizmo and one of the options here on this little gear is a bend curve modifier Ooh, so let's click on that. This one's actually nicer than Blender's, by the way. And if we pull on this little tab, we can increase the resolution. We don't really need that many points. I really just want one in the middle. And now we can use that point to adjust it. Ta-da! Very convenient to make uh, small tweaks and really get that uh, kit bash exactly where you want it to be. And if the kit bash pack I was using throughout the video piqued your interest, you'll find more in the description.